Oh, hold on. Is Taz and Doc, Taz and Doc here? Yeah. I want him to get everybody from outside in here. That's what he's doing? Okay, come. Okay, shalom, shalom, shalom. All praise the Hal Baha Shama Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Quam de Shalom. Quam de Shalom. Quam de Shalom. Hallelujah. 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 All right, shalom, shalom. And uh, I hope everybody had a nice uh, class, intermission in the classes. You had, right? The class went well, right, Khan? All right, we extended the time or the intermission so we could have the classes. So that's why we did it like that. And uh, we had the midwife class, Khan. We had the burial class. You got a lot of information, right? The midwife class and burial class, right? Uh, you had the history class. You had the class on marriage, Khan. Okay. And we're going we're gonna to make sure that Hebrew class come next time. I know we didn't really get to that, but... We're, we're pressed for time, but we're going to make sure we get to that. That Hebrew is very important. But Duarte Yahweh for the classes and for the brothers who taught the classes. So give them a round of applause for teaching the classes. Very, very important. Okay. So what I want to do now is this is uh, the actual part of the summit where we introduce the brothers in the Mashrash Allah and the elders and the officers and give you the understanding what this uh Yasha'Allah is all about. Okay, Khan? Um, so you can understand Mashara Yasha'Allah means government of Israel, Khan? And now it's Ha Mashara Yasha'Allah meaning the Mashara Yasha'Allah. Khan? Okay, it's the Mashara Yasha'Allah. Ha Mashara Yasha'Allah means government of Israel. And that's the true deal. Which, which claiming back our nationality, come Our nationality, look, it's ours. It's given to us by inheritance, come It's our nation. You don't have to be afraid to claim your nation. Esau went and stole your nationality. He ain't afraid to claim it. So why are we, we're true people, and why are we so afraid to claim it? So we're claiming our nationality. And we're going on, if we got to go to the UN and tell them we're Hebrew Israelite, we're going. Come even though we know they know already, but just to make it official, okay, that we are the martial arts of Allah, okay? So a lot of you may say, well, why, why claim your nationality or why have a government, okay? Because the scriptures teach us, the Most High told us, gather yourselves together, con. Assemble yourselves as a nation, con. Labor yourself to bring forth, Yahweh Shai said. Come together, call the priests. Call the elders, call the young men, and come together and fast, okay, and hold the council and come together. Come together on one accord. Didn't they say, how should I say that? Didn't, didn't uh, the Most High tell Moses to call the, uh, the uh, officers just like him and elders just like him and, and come together? And we got to discuss how we're going to bring forward our nation. That's what, we, that's what the martial arts Yashallah is all about. And we got to start having discussions, not only on the government and bringing forth the government, but discussions on what? Discussions on different doctrines that's out there. Doctrines on uh, when's the true Sabbath. Can anybody tell me when's the true Sabbath? Is it a lunar Sabbath <laughs> or a seven day Sabbath? You tell me. Is it immaculate conception? Or what? You know what I'm saying? You tell me. Understand? 
The Pharisees, uh, the Sadducees didn't believe in the resurrection. The Pharisees did. What is it? These are the things that we got to discuss as a nation, Con. We have to do these things. Is it the first light of the new moon or the all dark moon? You tell me. I don't. Maybe I don't know. But that's where it was, if the Most High showed you, that's where we come together. We network. We communicate, right? And you bring forth your spiritual talent and, and wisdom and knowledge the Most High gave you, and then bring it to us. Con. That's how it works. Okay, that's how it works, and so on and so forth. What was Cornelius? Was Cornelius an Israelite? Or was he Edomite? Is it Kwan? Huh? You tell me. I don't know. But these are the, some of the things that's going out there, Con. That's out there in different camps. Some brothers think he's uh, Israelite. Some brothers say he's an Edomite. You know what I'm saying? But these are some of the things that we as a nation. And we as a council and the government of Israel have to discuss these things and bring it forward. And then Shai, he said, we see through a glass darkly, don't we? Do we know everything? And Shai, he's not going to give us everything at one time. He's going to give it to us in stages. Way back at One West, we didn't celebrate the new moons I holy day. When we left One West, we started celebrating the new moons. The most side gives it to us in stages. Can't give it to us all at one time, but some things we have to discuss and go over as a, as a people, as a nation. Gun? All right? So, government of Israel, the word government, is the direction and spiritual and righteous control exercised over the actions of the members, citizens, or inhabitants of community and nation. Direction over the affairs of the nation the system of rule by which a nation is governed, the governing of persons in a state, community, or nation. That's the nation of Israel. Gun. Okay? Government. That's the government. Taking claim over the, the people of your nation, but by the spirit and inspiration of Hamashiach Yahushai. Gun. And taking control of it. That's what we need. Israel needs control. We're out of order, aren't we? We need total control and, and, and uh, be, to be arranged in the spirit and uh, wisdom and knowledge of Hamashiach Yahweh. That's what we need. We're out of order. Okay? It says, uh, Kalak, get uh, Isaiah. Ben, that scripture you said earlier, Isaiah 50, 51 and 14. Very, very perfect for this uh definition here. We are, what are we? A government in exile. We're still a government, we're just in exile, dispersed over the earth, gun. So it's high time for our government to come together. And check it out in history, any government in exile, what they do is what? They form their government in another man's land, right? Until their land is liberated and free. And then they go back to that land, gun. Well, that's what we're going to do, gun. Running around here in America like a chicken with his head cut off, don't know nothing, and we're not trying to form our government. We can do that, but you can't do it under religion. Can't do it under Islam. Can't do it under Jehovah Witnesses and Christianity and Africanism. It doesn't work, does it? Marcus Garvey tried to back the African book. Did it work? No. The Nation of Islam saying, let's separate and let's get a, a state for ourselves, but under Islam. Did it work? No. The Black Panthers tried their thing with the military way, but they wasn't under the spirit and direction of the Mosai. Did it work? No. It's not working. Then you tried politics. Did politics work? Didn't work. You tried religion. Did religion work? It didn't work. So we, we got to come another way. We got to come the right, correct way. But the Mosai teaches in the Bible. Okay? Government in exile says this. A government formed in foreign land by exiles who hope to rule when their country is liberated. Okay? That's what government exile is. Now, Isaiah 51, 14. Read it out loud, huh? Isaiah chapter 51, verse 14. The captive exile. The who? The captive exile. What are we? The captive exile. What are we? The captive exile. We are the captive exiles. Going up. Hasteneth that he may be loosed. 
Uh, don't we hasten that we may be loosed? Okay? But the only way we're going to be loose is we got to continue to do the right thing in your Shai. That's the only way you're going to be loose from captivity. You're still in captivity. I don't care if you go to college, okay? You, 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 you sign a contract of $50 million, you're still a, a, a slave. Gun, you're still a slave, okay? Doesn't matter. You can be Cardi B, you can be, uh, what's the name? The one that, with, the, with the name Red something? <laughs> sexy Red. She ain't that sexy either. She really ain't that sexy. You can, don't matter who you, who you claim, LeBron, it doesn't matter who you are. Denzel, well, I don't, it doesn't matter who you are. You're a captive exile. Con, they got you. Right? All right? Let's go ahead, Ock. And that he should not die in a pit. And you should not die in the pit. In America, nothing but a giant pit. And we dying every day here. Death. America is nothing but death for us. That's what America is. You're not, you're not free here. This is a death trap. Okay? Taxes is a death trap. Income tax is a death trap. The, the, the mortgage is a death trap. The medication is a death trap. The health system is a death trap. The FDA is a death trap. Education is a death trap. It's all, it's all death to us. Their money system, their dollar system is going to digital now soon. Death trap. Do you know it is? So that's why the Mosai said, oh Israel, come from amongst them. Okay? Come from Babylon. Come from amongst them. Right? You don't have to go to their circles. You don't have to go to their parties. You don't have to go and do what they do. You got to go to work, you go to work and come home and come to your own family, then come to the martial arts island summits. <laughs> right, Khan? Okay. So that's what government exile is. Nationality is the legal status by which represents the country from which an individual belongs. The status is acquired by inheritance. Are we the inheritance? Get Jeremiah 10, 21. Yeah, I know I didn't finish. I just want you to get Oh, Isaiah 14, uh, Isaiah 51, 14, is more to it? Okay, finish it up. That was my mistake. Finish it. Then get Jeremiah 10, 20, 21. Or 51 and 10. Isaiah 51, verse 14. The captive exile hasteneth that he may be loose, and that he should not die in a pit, nor that his bread should fail. Right, nor that his bread should fail. Uh, is our bread failing here? Yes. Okay. Your bread is not sustained here. Okay. The most I said, I'm going to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Cut. But our bread here is failing here. Your savings is gone. Not sure. Yeah, there's no assurity of it, right? You don't know if you're going to have a job the next day or not. And every, and every day, these, these corporations are giving out pink slips. So there's no assurity of thy bread. See? There's no assurity of thy safety. Okay? Get stopped by the police and see how safe you are. <laughs> see how safe you are. Call the police to your house and see how safe you are. They may just shoot you down. You don't know what's going to happen. Right? So there's no assurity of thy bread. But in your house, shy, there's what? Surety. Okay? You could be sure in Hamashiach Yahushai. So that's, that's in these last days, Yahushai has shown us, Yahushai is going to be the last one that we're going to have to turn to. That's it, huh? There's nothing else. There's no lawyers. There's no police. There's no American military. and not going to help you. Nothing. No doctors. Nothing. You have nothing. You know you can't trust the doctors. There's more, <laughs> yeah. We got a we got a doctor here, right? No. But what I'm saying is, uh, you know, the medical uh, institutions are what are de is designed to kill us. You know that what they're doing is designed to kill us, not save you, not help you, and not nourish you back to health. Go ahead, finish up. That that was it. Okay, get, get to one in Jeremiah. I think it's ten twenty one. Oh. Uh, Jacob's a lot of the inheritance. Okay, get the one in Deuteronomy 32 and 8. There's one in Jeremiah, it's 10, right? 
10, 16. Jeremiah 10, 16. Huh? Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 16. The portion of Jacob is not like them. The portion of Jacob is not like him. Okay? For he is the former of all things. Jacob, you're the former of all things in this earth. Go ahead, huh? And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Israel is what? The rod of his inheritance. What are you? The rod of his inheritance. Okay, you're the rod of the Most High's inheritance. And nationality is what? The status is acquired by inheritance. So who's supposed to inherit the land of Israel? Jerusalem, Mount Zion. You are. That's your land. So what is all this Pan-Africanist talk, Egyptology talk? Okay, that's your land. Yeah, we know Israel is uh, Northeast Africa, but Israel is your land, Con. Okay, so, and then it says a people having a common origin, language, or tradition. Okay, and your common language is Hebrew, and your tradition, the customs and culture of Israel, and your nationality is Israel. If anybody is Mount Zion, you're Mount Zion. What is Zion? A people and a place. Right? What is Israel? A people and a place. Con? What is Jerusalem? A people and a place. Con? That's you. And like the brother was bringing out about uh, the kingdom is without observation. Well, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. That's you. So you're the kingdom. And you got to bring it forth. And it, it's, it's within you. You got to bring it forth. And this is the time now that we must do it. Con? Okay. So that is um, government, government exile, and nationality. Con? All right. And so by doing that, what we at the Marshal Asha Allah for over 10 years, and I just want to welcome everybody here to the 21st. Mashallah, Yasha Allah Summit. So let's give the Mosai, Yahweh, the Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. A hand for that. Tenth Summit. I mean, ten year, ten years we've been having summit, but 21st Summit. Cunt. And it's a blessing, okay? And we had our ups and downs and trials and tribulations and keeping the Mashallah, Yasha Allah going, but that's, that's the nature of this, right? Just like in your camps, you got to struggle to keep it going, cunt. Okay, just like in Israelite schools, you got to struggle to keep that thing going, but that's the nature of it. Okay, how many of y'all own businesses? Some of y'all got the vendors that are going to come out in a few minutes, right? And you got to struggle to keep that thing going, right? But somehow you do it. Okay, but so in your house, shy, yeah, it may be trials and tribulation, but we're going to keep it going, right? okay? All the way till the Most High take us out into the wilderness. So the government of Israel, the Mashua Yasha'Allah, in the wilderness where the Mosai take us. And we're going to say, even in the wilderness, Mashua Yasha'Allah. Right, Khan? Okay. So, um, so this is the 21st summit. And um, the brothers that are on the council, we came together and we started a council. We came together, started an officer's council. Okay. And these brothers are now have different departments in the Mashua Yasha'Allah. And we came together as a council. You see how important I say the word come together or the phrase come together? Because no, this ain't about no one man. Okay? This ain't about no one man, no one camp. It's not about that. It's about us coming together and deciding on what's best for the government. Gun? And that's what we do. Okay? And we let Yahweh Shai decide through, through what? Through council. Gun? It's through council. Yahweh Shai said, with two or three are gathered, he's there. And he's helping us make the decisions, Con. Okay, so we came together and decided on the flag. Hamash Rosh Allah. Those are the colors of the tabernacle, Con. Y'all know that, right? The colors of the tabernacle: purple, red, blue, and we put it together. Hamash Rosh Allah, the uh, the uh, government of Israel, Israel, Zion, twelve tribes around it. Mashua Yasha Allah, and you see the twelve tribes, Con. That's our flag. That's our flag. That's your flag. Come. The nation's got a flag, so why can't we have a flag? Come. Okay, that's our flag. All right? And then we, can, we come together and we decide on how the next summits and so forth. 
so that what? We can continue to bring Israel together and coming together. And I just want one more scripture before we uh, go into the departments. Get me um, uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 12. And, and, and bam, get 1 Corinthians 10, 16. And that'll be it. Go ahead, uh, Kalak. 1 Corinthians 11 to 12. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 12. Uh, uh, verse 11, start from 11. Okay, verse 11. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman. Neither the woman no, without... No, 1 Corinthians 12, 11. Excuse me. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 11. But all these worketh that one and the selfsame spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. For as the body is one and have many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. Right. So one. See, we are one body in Hamashiach Yahweh Shot. Come. That's what we are, one. That's why the Mosai told Ezekiel, he said, Ezekiel, make thee one stick and put on the stick what? The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Come. Put on one stick. And you got the 12 tribes over here, right? Put it on one stick. Because we're one in your hour shot, come. So one stick. Is that it? You went to 12? Okay. And then bam, read uh, 1 Corinthians. Where did I say? Six, um, 10, 16. Go ahead. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10. And verse 16. And it reads, The cup of blessing which he blessed is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? Isn't it? The communion of the blood of Hamashiach Yahushai. That's what you bless when you say, uh, Mosai and Yahushai bless this food, bless the food in Hebrew. That's the communion of Hamashiach Yahushai. Go ahead, up. The, bre the bread. So like it. The bread which we break. It is not the communion of the body of Christ. Break it. It is not the communion of the body of Christ. For we being many are one bread. What are we? One bread. What are we? One bread. What are we as a nation? One bread. What are we as a nation? One bread. We're one bread as a nation. Okay, Con? Not all this division dividing, separating ourselves. Your camp is better than my camp. Uh, uh, you putting out uh, uh, a, a disclaimer that you can't associate with another camp. You don't salute brothers, you don't, understand? That's all madness. And that's what we're doing. So we're one bread in your shot, And we gotta recognize that. So the brothers up here will express to you and show you that we are one and, and come from different camps and, and everything, I, and some of these brothers have been in the truth 30 or 40 years. And we love brothers in all camps, I, in all camps. Gun, we love the sisters in all the camps. Okay, I don't care what camp you come from, you are my brother in your house, shot, Gun, doesn't matter to me. All right, so that's very important. So that's it, I, right? So that's very important. So now, uh, the brothers uh, on the elder council, are going to bring out their uh, particular departments for you. And we're going to start with over here, right, Elder Kwan? With uh, Elder Banyamnun. Ben, you go first. And just bring out for a minute or two about your department. All right. I say Shalom, uh, Barak 71st. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, I'm uh, officially going to do the Hebrew. Uh, everybody know that Kharat uh, Allah. He was the man that dealt with the Hebrew. And you know, uh, uh, he was here uh, from our school, the House of David. He passed away. You know, uh, he'd been here with us for uh, over 30 years. And he passed away uh, last year. So, and all the great works that he did with the Hebrew, the books that he wrote, the uh, uh, translating the Hebrew, uh, the Psalms, the New Testament, the Old Testament, the guidebooks, the booklets that he made. And he did tremendous work in the Hebrew. 
All right? So he laid a foundation. And we said, uh, being that he put, it, put in all this labor and work for all the years, and that now that he passed, we just can't let it go to waste. So I said, you know what? I'll, I'll pick up the mantle and, uh, and pick up where he left off. You know? So. To water, to water with the grace of the most I, uh, I wish to continue and, and follow up what he left off. Because he left us a great labor of work. You know? So I'd like to salute that brother for the work that he put in. All right? Uh, since we came up in One West. And so he did 30 years with us. So that's a long time. And so most are willing, I'll uh, continue the Hebrew uh, next summit, and then we get busy. All right? I say Shalom. All right. Uh, next brother, we have Elder Yakanan. He's going to go over his department. Elder Yakanan is the, is the priest in the priest department from your house camp. Give Elder Yakanan a round of applause for him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'll be very brief. Yeah, the priest uh, department, once again, we're dealing with uh, some objectives that we have as a government. As you know, as a, a government is also synonymous with counsel. It's also synom synonymous with uh, rule. It's uh, management. So in order to manage our nation, it's very important that uh, Yasha Allah has management. Uh, wouldn't you agree? We need managing. There are a lot of things that are happening within our nation where we see uh, some immaturity, if you will, that, that happens and um, we need a governing body. Let's keep it, you know, very honest and upfront. In these times, we're gonna need the wisdom of counsel. We're gonna need the wisdom that comes with uh, leadership, it comes with authority. And like I've said before, the wellspring of information, you know, the elder men uh, for their wisdom, the younger men for their strength. So this is a governing body that's coming together, led by the ultimate leader, which is Hamashiach Yahawashah, uh, Yahweh Bashama Mashiach Yahawashah. And so it's in that spirit that the Levitical department is being established, and these are just some of the objectives I'm gonna be brief. And that's to promote, teach um, the Torah, and to simply put a difference between clean and unclean. Uh, the Levitical department, because we're seeing a lot of uncleanness in Israel. We're seeing where a lot of things that should not uh, be spoken of concerning uh, Israelites, taking one another to court, um, the things that heathens don't even do, you know, all the immorality. And now it's starting to get where you can't tell the difference sometimes between Yasha Allah and the world. And it shouldn't be that way. We're supposed to be a light. We're, there's supposed to be a difference. And when we say we take pride in knowing that we're Israelites, but where is the acknowledgement of the conduct that's speaking to that very point? We're, we're starting to look like we're not different than the world. So this is the job of the Levitical department to put a clean, pure difference between what's right and what's wrong, um, to promote, to teach the Torah, the prophets and the gospels, uh, to Yasha Allah locally and nationally uh, through the offices established within the Levitical department. Uh, just brief, if you could get me Deuteronomy uh, 33, 8 through 10, and that's going to be it for me. Uh, we want to promote and teach the law. We want to make sure that uh, the Levitical responsibilities are being fulfilled uh, just as in the days of old. You know, We want to make sure that we have departments that facilitate a circumcision. Uh, the Levites had a lot of responsibility within the temple, and we want to make sure that we're still doing that. Um, as you see these classes and the these things are coming to fruition, but the main thing is to make sure that we maintain our integrity and don't lose our crowns, all right? And don't allow ourselves to be contaminated with the evils of this world. So read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 8. And of Levi, he said, Let thy thumbum and thy urim be with thy holy one, whom thou didst prove at Masa, 
and with whom thou didst strive at the waters of Mirabah, who said unto his father and to his mother, I have not seen him. Neither did he acknowledge his brother, nor knew his own children. Come on. For they have for they have observed thy word and kept thy covenant. They shall teach Jacob thy judgments and Israel thy law. I know a lot of times it's not popular and it's easy to forsake the Levites, especially if they're telling you what, what you need to be doing. I know it's not comfortable, but it's in that spirit that the Levitical department is going to be established. We didn't go to war without the priest, you know, setting forth and uh, sounding the alarm to, to do so. So we need to, it's in that spirit, even Yahawashah, uh, even if, when it came to a leper, you know, you need to go to determine if they were clean and unclean, you need to go see the priest. All right, so the priesthood isn't done away with, it's going to be established just as the days of old, and we're going to move forward in the spirit, in the spirit of, once again, counsel and management uh, with Ha Masharah Yasha Allah. And uh, with that, I say Shalom. All right, uh, the next brother from the uh, Marshall Rush Allah Elder Council is Elder Ash, all right, with the advisory department, all right, and uh, Ash has been in the truth for over 30 years, so Elder Ash is going to bring out his department. Go ahead, Elder Ash. Yeah, shalom, Shalom, once again, Shalom. shalom. Um, my duty on the Hot Marshall is the advisory. And sometimes the advisory department goes into counseling. And when I go into counseling, it turns, sometimes it turns very intense. And it drains you a lot as well. So you have to rejuvenate yourself. And I call on my brother, Karadzal Rakadis, in the back to join me on that advisory. And we talk and communicate. And he uplifts me and gives me information to move forward to give to the people. So the advice is not just advising, like brothers, brothers from camps, I advise division in camps, uh, uh, certain things going on in congregation, I advise that, it turns into counseling. Uh, I advise marriage, that turns into counseling. And there are a lot of people that somehow they find my number. <laughs> you know, and some that I haven't met, they Israelites, it's a brother I've been communicating and advising for over 20 years. I only saw him twice. But when you get into the intense advising people, even we have advised uh, death, and it gets so intense, like the brothers were speaking earlier in the Sabbath class, that King David was playing the harp for King Saul because he had that spirit on him. Sometimes you, you would get that old drained spirit, and it's like something pulling the energy from you and you have to be rejuvenated so I play some harp music I can't play the harp but I put that music on <laughs> you know to get some rejuvenation and set up those prayers you know not only for myself but for the nation and for the people that we are advising right so we get a lot from congregations a lot from our uh, camps how to set up camps certain division in camps you understand and also marriage even suicide even Israelites that have um, um, that have went back into the world and they got involved in drugs okay we've communicated that too I mean that's part of our job Con? okay with that brothers and sisters my name is Asha I'm the advisory and it, like I say it turns into counseling in our year with that Shalom Shalom, shalom, shalom. So the next uh, brother on the elder council, uh, we're going with Elder Zaquan. Elder Zaquan is part of Yahweh's camp, been in the truth over 30 years, right? He's part of the scribe department of the Masharah, Yasha'Allah. Okay, Elder Zaquan. Shalom, shalom. Yeah, I'm going to be real brief. Um, in these last days, we're better together than we are apart. You know, I mean, you got to uh, go back and meditate on that again. We're better together than we are apart. So um, I represent the scribe department. If you have any writers out there, um, come see me at my table in the back. You can help me out with a lot of administrative work, myself and uh, Mahar, Officer Mahar from our camp as well too. He's trying to hide back there, I, I see him. Um, 
Officer uh, Maha, marketing department, the brother does a fantastic job. You know, you know, a lot of times we get on his nerves a lot, but um, the brother he bears with uh, Elder Brock, along with myself as well too. Um, I just wanted to commend the brother. He does an excellent job. And um, also the pantry department, I'll show you how to set up uh, pantries amongst your congregations. Um, you can go to Lowe's, get storehouses. Um, very good idea to store water in these last days, napkins, lots of toilet paper. Um, you're gonna need it. Um, it was a time when I used to actually send the items out to your house. Um, you know, people used to call me all the time and I, I don't understand why that stopped at all. Like, I ain't complaining. You know, but I don't understand why it stopped. You know, I mean, I, you know, I didn't charge you for postage or anything like that. I said, damn, they don't, who, who, who doesn't want free stuff? I don't understand that. Moving but it's so, <laughs> hey, moving on up to the top, huh, Big Ben, right. So, um, <laughs> right, so, you know, um, you brothers and sisters, y'all can get with me. Um, it's very beneficial to your congregations. Go to Lowe's, set up a storehouse, um, lots of toilet paper, lots of water. What else, bam, toothpaste, what else? Mouthwash, uh, dish detergent, what else? It, 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 camp, yeah, canned food, all of that good stuff. And I'll put you on a good procedure. Also, um, if there's any kind of um, tax accountants, um, tax attorneys, lawyers, uh, come to me, we need all that. You know, um, we don't, uh, don't, just don't give us the Dame Dash uh, tax attorney. We don't want him or her. Okay, and if you can throw that person right on back, man. He's in a whole lot of trouble. Okay, so if you tax attorneys that's out there, lawyers that's out there, people that's good with numbers, we need all that. Land committee, you know, we start a land committee. Land is gonna be very sufficient and it's gonna be important in these last days for us. You know, we know a lot of y'all got land inherited already from your grandparents, from your aunts and uncles. A lot of you got more land than Bill Gates. You're sitting around ain't doing nothing with it. You'd rather sit on it full of forest, full of forest. Ain't enough trees on there, preach y'all. Okay, you'd rather just sit on it and do absolutely nothing with it than give it and share it with your brothers and sisters, man. Right. This, all of this is vanity, man. It's gonna go up in smoke. We might as well just live with each other, man, and do great amongst each other. This, this all this is vanity, man. Okay, what is gonna, what is gonna take you? Okay, what's the need of you having six and seven to ten acres of land? You sitting back looking at it every damn week, looking for what, man? We can grow food on it. Okay, you can feed people, man. You can build houses on it. Okay. You can erect, what you say, Priest? Burial plots, okay? You can build, what, a, um, a little community, a little community for Israel, all right? So you gotta think about that as well, too. So, um, like I said, land committee, if anybody know any cheap land in your um, area here in North Carolina, just come to us and just let us know uh, because we're about building, not condemning. So that's what you gotta understand, and um, that's it. You know, I'm, I'm done, that's it. All praise to Yahweh, why Yahweh shine. Okay, so the next brother in the martial law, Yesha Allah Council, is Elder Madatua. He represents our correspondence department. He's, and then he's, of course, from Ghana, uh, Africa. So he comes to every summit from, directly from Africa. So Elder Madatua. Shalom, shalom, again, brothers and sisters. And um, a part of my office for the government and for our nation is where we reason with brothers in different culture, different side of the world, and we see how we can put it together for it to work for us as a nation of people. As all the elders speak in the department, everything is important to us today, moving forward as a nation. As um, Zaquan just mentioned, in terms of lands, um, we need accountants, we need people to basically work to let us be better and let us do better choices and better things, even our lawyers. If we have Israelite that is lawyers, we as Israelites should use that lawyer. Can? We have our Israelite doctors. Call them up. Get the advice. Israelite accountant. Use them. Do your taxes. You understand me? For the money to stay back in our community and then we help each other. But I have one scripture. Get me Ezra. Somebody get me the book of Ezra. One scripture. Right? Because everything that we do is important. Because you see we come all over the town. Different cities, different states. Breaking bread. Showing that brotherly love as Yahweh Shai did. Because the scripture Yahweh Shai said he did what? He went to every city and teach. 
the apostles, the disciples were doing likewise. Somebody have it? Ezra 1, verse 3 to 6. Just read it for me, please. 1, verse 3 to 6. Ezra chapter 1 verse 3. Read for me. Who is there among you of all, the, all his people? Mm -hmm. His God be with him. And let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of the Most High. So we know when Ezra was talking here and was giving the report. When Cyrus said, who amongst you is ready and able? Let him go up to Jerusalem to build what? The build temple. the so house. In, so in Babylon, we were known as a nation. In this modern day Babylon, we don't know as a nation. So we have to build back as a nation first before we can head to Mount Zion. Can? So that's why we're rehearsing the righteous act as we speak. Read on, sir. And build the house of the Most High, mm -hmm. power of Israel. Read he on. is the power which is in Jerusalem. Read. And whosoever remaineth in any place where he sojourneth. So anybody that stay back in Babylon, read on. Let the men of his place help him with silver and with gold and with goods and with peace besides the free will offering for the house of the Most High. So you hear what Cyrus said. This is a Persian telling us this. If you see some men come and say, let's build back our nation. Let's unite our nation. Cyrus advised our rest of brothers and sisters. So listen, help them with substance. Right. For us to move this government forward, brothers and sisters, we need substance. We need your contribution. If the most I put it in your spirit to help, to assist, as a government on the back of the flyer, we have a cash up. Because what Zephon said, people used to call for food, people call for letters, people call for many things. Right? So even though we're doing all this today. We still need the people packeted and the people contribution to push this government. To keep a summit in a city, it's not easy. To rent a hall, it's not easy. Brothers and sisters traveling with children that want to make it to the su summit, don't have nowhere to stay, don't have no transportation, anything. So we need your substance to do this. Because just like Peter, Moses did, when they need anything to push the Templar do for the nation, they go to the people. So as part of my department, I'm pleading with our brothers and sisters, I'm corresponding to you to tell you that we need your assistance to push this government forward. Where are we keeping the next summit? In whatever city we're going, we have to pay for the renting the building. You understand that we have to get refreshment, we have to get etc. So we're pleading to you for your help. Read on for me, sir. For the house of the Most High that is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah, and Benjamin, mm -hmm. and the priests, and the Levites, with all them whose spirit the Most High had raised. The Most High raised up people's spirit to do what? Continue, verse 6. To go up to build the house of the Most High, which is in Jerusalem. Read on. And all they that were about them strengthened their hands with vessels of silver. Look at that. Our ancestors strengthened their hand to build. So for we to build a nation, all the brothers here have good report before God. Because we cannot live our life to please man. Because man will angry with us, but God is not angry with us. Man will not forgive us, but Yahweh forgive us. So that's why now in Ezra he said, the people straighten Ezra's man to go up and build the house of God. When I read Matthew 28, 19, Yahweh Shai said, go in all nation and teach the word. That's what we in Africa are doing. That's what we're doing wherever we go. Because Yahweh Shai said, my sheep hear my voice. So just like when we hear this word for the first time, we could not resist. We were convicted. So when we go and put this word out, the sheep will hear it and return and we can have a great family in Yashahab. So in that, brothers, the Bible said, the love of money is the root of all evil. So nothing wrong with money. Bible said money is a defense and for us to push forward we need our brothers and our sisters assistant. Don't matter how small it is. Everybody looking, oh I only have five dollars. But if ten of you here put ten dollars, that's a hundred dollars isn't it? Can? Because together we are stronger brothers and sisters. So I plead to you to help support the Masharaya Shala. We are at the 21st summit. Let us continue to do this. You, you see all the information that you get here today. 
even Bani Ami had mentioned about our late Kartizala, the legacy that he left, the tools that he left, and we will never make his legacy go to sleep. That's something that we'll teach with our children and our children's children, right? So contribute towards our program and remember we travel. We travel to Israel for Passover and the feast days. We'll be there for Tabernacle Musa as well. So brothers and sisters who want to make that journey, we're here. In the name of Yahawashai, not my name. So with that, I said Shalom. Okay, uh, is Taza Doc, is Taza Doc here? Taza Doc is outside. If somebody can get him right quick. Taza Doc, hey, come on up Taza Doc. This is Taza Doc, Marshal Yasha'ala, Head of Security, Military, and Security Department of the Marshal Yasha'ala. So get Taza Doc a hand. Yeah, Taza Doc. Shalom, shalom, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah Barakatun, Wa Yahweh Shemar Alatan. Of course, I'm Taz Adar Zerah Yahweh Yahweh Rabban Yahshala. We, as always, we're continuously looking for people for safety and security. Um, a part of what we do is we do a lot of basic training over some safety things, uh, not just for Mashra Yashala, but also for your own personal congregations and even within inside of your own family. Also, with that, we're constantly looking for people with medical backgrounds. I know we got some new medics over there. Uh, with medical backgrounds, um, that way we. Can... Is, this, is this better? All right. We're always looking for people with security backgrounds and medical backgrounds uh, so that we can teach Yasha Allah some of the basic skills. I know we brought it up before that we can lessen the chance of our uh, host captives from touching on us. Um, so if you do have any medical skill or any type of security skill, whether it's police officer, uh, military, whatever the case may be, security, uh, any type of security, Please, Bubba Kashar, get with me. Uh, you can also get with Akwath Shara. She's uh, uh, technically over the medical department um, so that we can start gathering ourselves together and, and putting each other through some classes. Um, whether if you know it or not, well, matter of fact, before I say that, how many people here are CPR certified? All right. Now, we want everybody to hand to go up at some point. So that if something happens to me or anybody in here, that we have the ability to take care of us besides having to call on our enemy to come get us or to save us. Um, so with that said, if you, come on. If, with that said, I'm not going to say it this time, but tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, if you are a warrior, uh, please come out and train with us. So for all the men who are supposed to be warriors or if you are 20 and above that are able to go to war, come on out. Uh, it's just uh, a lot of brotherhood. Uh, we're not going to tell you what we do, but we're going to go out there and have some fun. Also with that, kind of, also with that, uh, probably in the next couple months we do uh, some training, which we usually give out that information at the training that we're going to be doing in the morning. We're going to be holding that at the school at uh, the House of Anointed Saints School. Like I said, eight o'clock. If you are able to do some training. Uh, just go ahead and come on out. If you got like, small issues, we'll work around those. But for those men, 20 and above, that are able to go to war, come on out. All right? With that said, Shalom. All right. All right. Kwame Yashala. Kwame Yashala. Kwame Yashala. So also, with the martial arts Yashala, we also have an officer's council. Okay, Khan? And so we have some officers that we're going to have come up and stand before you. We have Officer Bam, who's up here with us. A lot of times, if an elder cannot make it, we go to the next ranks in the officership and have them come up here and sit with the elders. Khan? Okay. We have Officer Karadza Labraim. Karadza Labraim still there? There he is, Karazza Labran. Kalak Raka. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dewad. Where's Dewad? These are relatively new officers that are coming up. Yare. Where's Yare? Coming up, Yare. 
That's gonna be part of Methodical's correspondence team. <laughs> okay, cut. Yona, where's Yona? Come on up, Yona. And uh, Yakanon from Delaware couldn't make it, okay, today, but Yakanon. Captain Yakanon in the Delaware camp, the Hebrew chosen elect camp, he couldn't make it. Okay? Brother from Dallas. Yes. The brother from Dallas, come on out from the Dallas camp, the captain. Saints uplifting commandments. All right. Anybody else? What's the Hebrew name again? Shamariah. Shamariah. Okay. So give Shamariah a hand also. <laughs> Saints upholding their commandments. Right. And then, of course, um, these brothers are officers in training to become elders. Con? All right. So, um, and we do have sometimes we have them sit up here along with us also. Con? So they're in training. And so let me say this. Some of you brothers that are out there, you can become officers also. Okay? But you, you let the martial arts Allah know. Are you ready, willing, and able to sacrifice and participate in the rebuilding and redeeming of the nation of Israel and the martial arts Allah? So all the departments went, correct? Who's here think they can be a scribe? You can be part of the Quan's department. Who here think, who here is a Levite? You lean in Levites and be part of the priest department. Right here. Okay. You got Elder Banyama in the history department. And he's now we're talking about the Hebrew department. Who's good in the Hebrew? Okay. We need your help. The advisory department, our department. Okay. We're also going to bring up the marketing department in a few minutes. Okay? So we need from get ready. <laughs> okay? We have a marketing department too. But we need your participation. Why? Because you have I say, you're my battle axe and weapons of war. He said, for us to labor and bring forth this, the kingdom. So you think you're going to sit home and sit on YouTube and watch brothers do all the work. No, nah, it ain't going to work that way. Okay? So you're going to have to help out also. Okay, Cun? So now, uh, Bam, you be the first one. Okay? This is Officer Bam. Go ahead, Bam. Kwame Ashala. So my office is uh, focused on the Northern Kingdom. Uh, can I grab a scripture right quick? Somebody read for me. Give me Hosea, chapter 11, Baba Kasha. It's important because, you know, we, we start, we use the, you know, the signs, we use the, uh, you know, the chart. We're supposed to come back, but it's important. It's a prophecy, right? So give me Jose 11. Uh, where you at? Uh, start out verse. Give me verse. Oh, that's not what I want, right? Yeah. Give me verse 7. Hosea chapter 11 verse 7. And my people are bent to backsliding from me. Though they called them to the most high, none at all would exalt him. Right. How shall how shall I give thee up Ephraim? How should I do what? Give thee up Ephraim. So the most high, he's a he's a, he get, he keeps his promises, man. And he kept his promise to the northern kingdom, right? Go ahead. How shall I deliver thee, Israel? And shall I make thee as Adma? How shall I set thee as Zeb Zeboim? Mine heart is turned within me. My repentance are kindled together. Right. Those are cities around Sodom and Gomorrah that were destroyed with Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? Go ahead. I will not execute the fierceness of my anger. Right. I will not return to destroy Ephraim. Uh -huh. For I am the Most High and not men. The Holy One in the midst of thee, and I will not enter into the city. They shall walk after the Most High. They should do what? Walk after the Most High. And do what? 
He shall roar like a lion. And we know that's the 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 uh, Amashiach Yahushai, right? In the book of John, he says that uh, his sheep hear his voice, right? And that he there's another sheep of another fold that he came for, right? Go ahead. When he shall roar. Now when a Mashiach wars, read. Then the children shall tremble from the west. From where? From the west. From where? From the west. Okay, so now we know the direction, right? So we need help getting Northern Kingdom back to where to get. And we know how stubborn Northern Kingdom is, right? So that's my office. All praise to the most high, right? I'm also a scribe as well, right? So uh, hopefully we can pick up that, that office as well, but all praise to the most high. I yield. Shalom family. My name is Kalak Rakai, the house of David. I am part of the priest's office. I'm over the circumcision. I just want to say uh, Deuteronomy 12, 19. Take heed that you do not forsake the Levite. Say that, again, uh, say that again. Say that again. Say that again. Take heed that, again, uh, go ahead. that you do not forsake the Levite. I'm going to paraphrase that real quick. That's it. You know what I mean, we're going to need that help for the burial, for the circumcisions, so on and so forth. And that's it. I yield. Hallelujah. And shalom, shalom, family. All oh, praises. Good to be here. My name is Karada Slabaran. Represent the HODC Gate in Brooklyn, but in this capacity, I represent um, Mashara Yashara as um, the council. Kalak, do me a favor, Baba Kasha, um, Proverbs eleven fourteen. You already know. Um, I represent the counseling. So, you know, you just, you just don't need marriage counseling. We need counsel, period, because we lost our way. And read that real quick so you know, so they have to understand. You got to go. Proverbs. <laughs> Proverbs 11, verse 14. Where no counsel is. Say, say it again. Where no counsel is. Say it again. Where no counsel is, the people fail. So that's... We've been uncounseled our, all our generations until the Most High bless some of the elders before these elders to let you know that you were Israelite. Ten years ago, you might not have known. Thirty years, forty years. I've been doing this about thirty years. So forty years ago, I really didn't know. But read that again. Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in a multitude of counselors, they were safety. So we need help to get this department off the ground too, not just me. Not just Shalomar, not just um, Karash. So if you feel, and through scriptures, and you feel through, through your, your um, system of, of learning and teaching from the elders and all over in your experience, if you feel you're able to counsel, come see us. I yield. All right. And that was Karazalab Ryan. So now some of the newer brothers uh, of the officers' council, the Shatarium. Uh, Dawad. Oh, you want to say something, Dawad? Shalom, young brother Dawad from the BOCC, Body of Christ Church. I'm part of the Office of Accountability. So, like 2 Corinthians 6 and 2 states, that uh, be not um, given no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. And there's a high standard for us that are being called and coming into this faith, being a new man in Christ. That we have to hold ourselves to a different standard. And when we're walking out of order, that's where 1 Corinthians 13 comes in. We examine yourself whether you be in the faith. If you're a reprobate or not. And that's where we have discussions whether the things, the decisions that you make, you got to be accountable for, whether good or bad. And a lot of that deals with the decisions we make, walking in this world, you know, giving into our lust, or making bad decisions when it comes to, like, being a man, uh, just marrying a woman, not knowing her, and then, you know, doing things that are not scripturally or scriptural. So, you know, we can have those discussions because I myself, been with you for a very long time, made a lot of mistakes, and I could help brothers and sisters, you know, avoid those mistakes so you can be better than myself. You could avoid mistakes. You could be, you could be a person that where I plateaued, you could ascend beyond me and be better. You understand? So, you know, that's why I'm, that's why I come in. That was it. All right. Y'all ready? You can grab y'all ready. Shalom, shalom. My name is Y'all ready, I'm with the Corps Response Department. And 
we just out here trying to build Israel back together as the uh, Amos 9 and 11, trying to see the, the broken breaches of the house of David, which is all these Israelites, even no matter which camp you are, that we all come back under one nation. And with that, I yield. All right, Yona. Yona, you can go. Shalom, shalom, Israel. My name is Yoel from the Sons of David, D.C. I picked uh, the herbal department. And uh, I pray that uh, the Spirit will give us to use the herby herb burning seed for our healing. Sure. That we walk away from this nation healthy. Sure. So uh, a scripture that came to mind was Proverbs 16, 3. That he commit me. He give me the willing spirit and the strength to do this will for this nation. So I yield the floor to the next powerful speaker. Shalom, shalom, uh, I'm Sam Mariah, uh, with SUC out of Dallas. I'm going to be honest with y'all, I just got the olive branch extended to me yesterday. So I don't know what outfits I'm going to be in. Correspondence. Correspondence, okay. With that being said, I'm just here and ready to put my brick in. I want to take the water for the um, olive branch from the elders. And I want to come in and, and, you know, not necessarily trailblaze, but learn from these brothers, you know, and... Um, try to take as much knowledge as I can and be beneficial to the body, to the government, and to the nation. Hallelujah. So these are the officers. There's uh, one or two that are not here. These are the officers of uh, the Marshal Raya Sha'ala. And they're, they're next in rank. Okay? So what does that mean? That means that you brothers who are in camps, Israelite schools, you can become officers also. We're looking at, we're going to look into Judah. Okay, Judah, you ready? <laughs> there's, there's a few other brothers we're looking into that's going to become officers of the martial arts Allah. We've got my man here from the NFL, uh, Khalil, 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 right? There's a whole lot of brothers uh, that's ready to step in, okay, in the martial arts Allah and, and participate. Okay, Khan? And so you brothers that's out there, you can do the same thing. Okay, you got Gamaya, okay, from the Delaware camp, and a lot of you other brothers in the camps, you can do that. Yeah. So, let's praise the most side. How about some of try with these brothers? Okay, Duwada, Akim. Duwada. All right. And also, now the, the, Yeah, you can say something. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, uh, I didn't forget, but uh, I, I mentioned this last time we had the summit. Uh, we need a, a fashion design department. If any sister is willing to step up a garment department, if you want to step up to that department, it's open to you too. All right? A fashion design garment. We make our own brand of clothes. You understand? For brothers and sisters, we make our brand. We capitalize on what we make. Remember, we're the light of the world, man. So we could capitalize and create our own design and fashion. Right. All right? And we be the transcendence. That's all I have to say. Shalom. Let me just say, here's a brother. Hey, Mike Allen, stand up. <laughs> he knew I was going to call him. But his brother, his brother is so diligent in making garments, he got a whole factory of garments at his house. That's one of the garments he made. And the thing is, in his basement, he got a whole line of new garments. And I meant to go to his house before the summit, get one, but we don't have a chance. But the brother is so diligent, he's taking up tailor classes now. He's taking up garment classes. Yeah, he's taking it to the next level. So, we, you know, brothers can be part of that fashion design garment uh, department also. Gun, along with sisters. Gun. There's, there's no problem. It's like we had the midwife class, and she's going to be a midwife. Come on up and you know talk to us, and so forth. Because all these departments necessary. Gun, just like we talk about brothers who are mechanics, plumbers, construction, all that stuff. And that's electricians. All that is necessary in building a nation. Gun, all right. So just just let us know. You don't have to be afraid either. You know what I'm saying? So now. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, acknowledge some of the camps that are here, okay? At every summit, we have 
uh, different camps that make up the summit and come to the summit as well as individual brothers and sisters and uh, they come and make up the martial arts Allah congregation at the summit. It's gone. So uh, we have Camp LOZ. Is LOZ here? Kazaki here? We're there. They can stand up. Well, if y'all can stand up. Right. Con, I met, yeah, I met, yeah, my mistake. I met LOZ, yeah. Cons, yeah, they are LOZ. Cons camp, Con. Uh, and where's Shalomar at? There you go. Shalomar, come up and say one thing. Come on. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Uh, it's truly a blessing to be here. Uh, the water for the recognition from the the uh, government of Israel, the Martial Law Yashvala, is always a privilege. Anytime we could uh, play a role in what uh, this organization is doing, we're willing and able. You know what I mean? Just get the calls. The choir call you, you got to answer. So you don't have a choice. So the next time it's a quiet call, I'll answer. And the next time, well, let me not say that out loud. Y'all willing, I'll bring the band the next time. All right? Y'all willing, I'll bring the band the next time. All right? Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. All right, so that's L-O-Z, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Okay? That's L-O-Z. And you got Kahan. Come on up, Kahan, if you want to say something. No? Okay. You got Priest Kahan right there, part of L-O-Z also. Okay? All right, so now, uh, Stream of Wisdom. That's Kazaki's camp. Stream of Wisdom is here? Okay, come on up, Kazaki. Come on up, stand up. Stream of Wisdom. <laughs> That's Ariano's son. Yeah, they don't remember Ariano, but that's Ariano's son right here. Kazaki, right there. Uh, it's always a pleasure to see these brothers um, lasting, longevity, endurance, example. Uh, you, you, you're seeing in the flesh that it can be done, and you can grow old in the truth and uh, maintain your integrity. So anytime I come here, it's always a joy. I remember being a little boy and uh, seeing these brothers fighting. Uh, you know, and I'm, uh, some of y'all are going to get there, but I'm talking about the brothers from uh, HOTC, the old men. Um, but um, <laughs> the old men. He tried to call me an elder earlier. I was like, bro, I'm, I'm 47. I'm not there yet, bro. I don't need that. Just call me Kazakia. <laughs> so um, we just try to support uh, like you brothers and sisters are doing. Uh, supporting and being a strength to each other, that's needed in the nation. The, uh, uh, the brothers, what they're, what they're dropping about, being the bickering, the back and forth, the selfishness, the we're better than thou, uh, we're, we're all trash. He said we're worms, right? So we got to remember to continually support where it's needed, where you can help, uh, and show our face and, uh, to strengthen each other. It's needed in the nation. So, um, the water again for inviting us. I'm going to say the water to the brothers that once again hosted. I stopped y'all up front to, uh, it's a lot of work. This ain't, we hosted one of these. This ain't, this ain't easy. All right. So they're right. Uh, I know Israel, we all don't like it. Everybody's money's time, but it takes money to run these things, these locations. It takes money. So we ain't going to get out of it to support in whatever way you can. If it's five bucks, 10 bucks, just support. Just just give a little bit to help out, to, to at least pay back what they put in, right? All the food, all that. So that's it. The Water Brothers, the Water. That's stream, stream of wisdom, yeah. Right. And yes, Shalom. I want to say something pertaining to, what their name now? Stream of wisdom. Because they're with us when they have a different name, can? Because they support the Masharai Yashala 100%, man. Along with other brothers, too. But we have to give it up for Kazakh Yemen. 
right? And his brothers, they travel from far sometimes. When I'm even back in Africa, they just reach home. You understand me? Huh? They're in Rochester. So they travel very far, man. So give it up a round of applause to them. And all the brothers and sisters that come out and continue us to support us. Because believe it or not, a lot of people want to see this go to naught, brothers. You understand me? And that's the fact. That's what we become. Do you understand me? So for the individual and the real Hebrew Israelite that's supporting unity and supporting togetherness, man, only thing we can do is thank the Musa, Yahweh, Ba'asham, and Mashiach, Yahweh. Can. Okay. All right, the next camp here at the Mashiach Allah Summit is Soldiers of Yahweh. Soldiers of Yahweh. Okay, where are they at? Huh? Come on up here, huh? Is it how many brothers? Two of us. Two of us? Okay. Just say something real quick. Hey, first give Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shaman round of applause. All uh, praise to the most high man. Hey. Then we want to give the elders a double honor and a round of applause, man. Because like I told the elders, man, hey, their actual, their branches and their vines have literally branched out because if it wasn't for them, without computers, without technology, you know, through the diligence and the hard work and the love that they have for the Most High, none of us would be here, man. Right? So I just want to extend a, a, a love and respect and honor to them. And tell everybody, man, just keep enduring, man. Because right now we're getting at a point in the earth, in a point in time where hey, it's getting hard. Bills is getting hard. Food getting hard. Right? Everything's getting hard. But the one thing that doesn't have to change is the love for your brothers, man. Right? Hebrews 13 and 1. Pum ya! Pum ya, son! Pum ya, son! All right, and the next camp here of uh, the Marshall Royal Charlotte Summit is the Dallas camp. And what's the name of the camp again? Saints Upholding Commandments. Come on up, the brother from Dallas. Who's the other brother? First of all, I just want to give all praise and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, man. The water for the elders for allowing us uh, to be a part of this Masharal Yasharala. This is uh, for us, it's about our fifth uh, summit that we've been a part of, and Lord willing, man, we'll, we'll see many more. But uh, hey, uh, soak it up, Akim. Man, this is, this, is, uh, this is monumental. This is epic right here. This is a little taste of the kingdom right here. So uh, with that, I'm going to yield all praise to the Most High. Okay, uh, there's another camp uh, called Genesis, a relatively new camp. Brothers from Genesis, come on up. Come on up. Uh, how many brothers are you? Just you for now, but you represent Genesis. The first book, the first book of the Bible. All praise to the Most High. I'm glad to be here, family. I don't got much to say. I ain't gonna hold up. I seen y'all. Well, y'all seen the food come, so I know y'all just waiting to go eat. So I ain't gonna take up too much time. But um, events like these are amazing because as we get closer to the end, you know, it's important that we get closer to one another. And so, like the brother just that just spoke earlier, he said that this is like a taste of the kingdom. So this is like a like a spiritual gas tank. It's where you got a bad week, bad month, bad year. You see brothers gathered and sisters gathered together. It really motivates you. So. You know, make sure y'all soak it all up, and um, all praise to the Most High. The water for our for host. Okay. So now we have, uh, well, y'all Ray, y'all Ray, you're in D.C. If you want to speak on your camp, you good? Okay, we got y'all Ray, he already, he's one of the officers, so he already pretty much spoke. Okay. And then uh, we're going to have um, 
Yahweh's camp. Okay, elders and Kwan are going to speak on that camp. We have the house of David, that camp. Uh, Asher and Banyam are going to speak on that camp. Okay, Elders of Kwan. All right, all praise to Yahweh White House shot. Uh, brothers in the back, your house camp, stand up real quick. Yeah. All praise to yeah, these diligent brothers, man. All praise to the most high. These brothers work hard. Tons of their spirit throughout their teaching, learning, um, giving Esau a pure hell out there, man. You know, I got it. I vibe and preaching myself. We vibe off of their spirit, man. Y'all keep me going. I'm going to be honest with you. That's a secret I ain't want to tell y'all. Y'all keep me going, okay? So don't y'all brothers leave here, man. You know, y'all brothers sticking this thing, man, through thick and thin. No matter what happens, y'all sticking here with it, man. You know, so. All praise to y'all, man. Hats goes off to y'all, man. Y'all brothers sticking there. It's always a pleasure, man. Water. All right, House of David. If I want to speak on the camp for the House of David. Shalom, shalom. All the brothers from the House of David stand up. You got my sisters over there. Stand up for a minute, Gabara. Y'all stand up for a minute. Yeah, they all travel together. And the brothers and sisters from the house of David, uh, uh, some of them just made the last two summits, and they're beginning to love it. So they're ready for the next one. And, and they're ready to travel, and they motivated for this summit. And we finally got my brother Judah from out of the east side of New York. He loves it. <laughs> there you go right there. He loves it. So I say, Kwam Yashala to the house of David and to all the Israelites here. Kwam Yashala. Kwam Yashala. Kwam Yashala. Then I yield. Okay. And then we have the Delaware camp. Okay. One more thing. Kalak from Utah. Yeah. yeah. The house of David. I forgot about Kalak from Utah. So the Delaware camp stand up over here. Y'all stand up. Okay. You have Gamaya. You have another, you have Clock Raka, that's Clock Raka Delaware. Huh? That's not you, Clock Raka, the only Clock Raka. We got one too. Huh? Okay? Can't have all the Clock Raka, it can't be just you, it's Clock Raka. <laughs> and then we got uh, Mike Allah, that's the seamstress right there, that brother can sew. Okay, so in this camp, you got Captain Yakanan who couldn't make it. Okay, he's working and everything, but it's a Delaware camp, Hebrew chosen elect. Okay, give them a round of applause. Man. Also. Okay, and now, Judah, big Judah, come on up, Rock. The anointed house of saints, where they all at? The anointed house of saints. Where they all at? The anointed house of saints. Where they at, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, come on up. These are, this is the camp that hosted the Marsh Royal Charlotte 21st Summit. Come. A lot of work goes into it, a lot of effort goes into it, a lot of resources go into it. It's not always easy hosting a summit, but these brothers got a beautiful school. Most of you were at the uh, meet and greet. That was beautiful, Con. Then we went to the camp that Friday. It started raining, but they were still out there for about an hour. Then after we went where? To a school, Con. They got a beautiful school, don't they? Beautiful school, all right, in Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay, the brothers were ready, willing, and able to do the host the summit. Okay, that's what we look for. That's why the martial arts honor goes out to every city. Every city we go to, we go and uh, speak to the camps that are in that city, and whichever one says they're ready, willing, and able to host the summit, that's who we deal with, Con. And here in Greensboro, North Carolina, they were ready, and they were prepared, and here they are. Okay, men of the most high. They got a, they're beautiful lot. Young men, there's some elders too in the camp, ready, willing, and able. And some of the elders are saying they're ready to do the next summit in San Francisco and Atlanta, yeah, Atlanta. and That's all right. that stuff out, huh? And the one after that too, see? So we're, <laughs> yeah, big child, we're planning ahead, so that's good. So Big Jude, I want you to say something for your camp, huh? You got it? Go ahead. Thank you. All praises to the Most High. First and foremost, on behalf of the brothers, uh, we want to thank everybody for coming out. All praises to the Most High. We was able to do this. All right. Um, thank you to the elders who, who 
thought enough of us to allow us to do this and put this together. Huh. We definitely want to do another one. We definitely want to put on more events for the uh, community. So we just want to thank everybody, all the brothers for their hard work. There's some brothers that you can't see. Your Howard in the back. Some other brothers still work, or running around. Got some soldiers out here who still brothers running around and working. Mm. All right. So, you know, we want to thank everybody who had a part to play in what we're doing. I'm going to pass it to uh, Captain Yonison real quick. That's all I got to say. Hey, Barakatai Howard, Barakatai Howard Shy. Beautiful seeing all y'all faces in here today, man. I want to pull this precept real quick. Uh, this is from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8 and verse 1. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8 and verse 1. And all the people... How many of the people? And all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate. And they spake unto Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Most High commanded to Israel. See, Ezra and Nehemiah and all those books are going into nation building. And that's the stage that we're in right now, right? But when the people came together, they gathered together as one man, right? So when we praise the Lord tonight, man, when we when we put up the Barakatai Yahawas, or we put up the Dewada Yahawas, we're going to do that as one man. So let me get three Barakatai Yahawas real quick, right? On three. One, two, three. Barakatai Yahawa. Barakatai Yahawa. Barakatai Yahawa. All right, so that was the Northern House of Saints, the ones who hosted this summit, the 21st summit. And we got this, uh, I think this is the last camp. Is it going there? I forget anybody else? No camp. Okay. They did the summit before this, the 20th summit in Tampa. Remember that summit? <laughs> Everybody said, I was that one. Okay, great, uh, ma'am. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, no cap, nation of the kings of priests, Tampa, Florida. All right, we got my brother Maya Ka'ala, my brother Shapal, all right, and my brother Kalel from Tribe of Judah. I need more Northern Kingdom brothers around me, so like it. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> come on, I, hey, I wanted to give a shout out to my brother Yeshwan. Me and Yeshwan, we've been, uh, hey, I know, I, hey, we've been together for a long time. He from Tampa as well. You know what I'm saying? Me and him, man, go, go back like PJs in this truth, right? So uh, it's been it's been a long time. Good seeing you at the summit. I all praise to the Most High. But Kwame Yashala. Okay, did we forget anybody else? Kwame. I said yeah. So real quick, um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna speak about that. So real quick, we're gonna speak about some of y'all. Boston? Oh. All right, so. Brother from Connecticut? Where is he? Brother from Connecticut, stand up. Oh, okay. Where? No, he's from the Boston camp, right. I got my states mixed up. But stand up, Bob. Stand up. Eliezer. He was going to let us just go away. Don't keep going. I say nothing. Come on, Eliezer. <laughs> He's from the Boston camp. Okay, Rise of the Chosen, correct? Okay. In Boston. In, in, actually, in Worcester. Gun? That's the camp he's from. Okay? All right, Dwight. Appreciate it. All right, Kwame Yashala. All right. Um... When everybody came in, you got a business card, martial arts all the business card, con, right? You got one of those. You also got what else did you get? The um, martial arts all um, mission statement, con. Everybody got that. And you also got martial arts all you know the flag, right? And you also got the code of ethics, con, right? The code of ethics, here it is here, the code of ethics. We've been putting out the code of ethics since the beginning, Con, And it's from 2014 off until now. Why is the code of ethics important? Because there's scriptures concerning what? Brotherhood. 
It's the gospel of Hamashiach Yahushai, Khan. Twelve codes, twelve tribes of Israel, Khan. And how we're supposed to conduct ourselves with each other and behave ourselves with each other. Khan? And then Yahweh Shai teaches us uh, even the first code, Mark 12 and 30, and thou shalt love the, the Lord thy Yahweh with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Gun. Second commandment, code 12 and 30, and that is the second commandment, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's that's Israel. That's the 12 tribes. Con, con, that's your neighbor. Your neighbor is not the Edomite that lives next to you. Or in your apartment. Or the East Indian. Understand? Or the Arab that lives next to you. Con, your neighbor is the people of your own nation. That's what the Bible is talking about. Okay? And so Yahweh Shai is teaching us to love thy neighbor. Be courteous. Hospitable. Right? Love. Nurture. Caring. Care for one another. Okay? If your brother be taken a fault, restore him. Con? Restore him as if you would want to be restored if you take taken a fault. Con? All that is important. Okay? We're not going to read every code of ethic, but you got a paper, you can read it yourself. And we've been giving this out every summit. Because it shows you what the, what the Most High is, is showing us that we need repetition. Con? Right, Con? Repetition is important. We, we bring it every summit, but sometimes we just don't get it. Even in the wilderness, the uh, Yahweh Shai, the Mosai, was bringing out the repetition of the commandments. Right? Same thing you do with your sons and daughters. You teach them every day the same thing. You get tired of it, don't you? Well, you don't think the Mosai is tired? But you still do it, don't you? Why do you still do it? Because <clears throat> that's your son, that's your daughter. And you want them to learn, Con? So same thing with the Mosai. We've got to learn this. But after a while, mercy times are soon what? Going to depart, won't it? Okay? The Mosai gets tired, and then he's going to start killing people. So we've got to take that into heart. So this is the code of ethics. So if you don't have one, come to me, and I'll give you one. Come? All right. And so you got the business card, and the business card has... Uh, Everything of the so uh, of the Masharasha Allah on social media, Con. The phone number is on here, and that phone number is linked to my number. So when you call, I'll pick it up, Con. Three zero two three six five zero six five zero. Ephraim, come on up, Ephraim. Ephraim is part of the marketing department who made all this, the business cards. Okay, he did this. Uh, we got a martial arts marketing department is also in the process of refining the uh, website martialartsallah.com that's on the business card martialartsallah.com Facebook is martialartsallah con Instagram is martialartsallah con TikTok is martialartsallah con YouTube Masharaya Sha'ala. Ha Masharaya Sha'ala. You gotta remember. Ha Masharaya Or the Masharaya Khan? That's what it is. Alright, Khan? So if you don't have a business card, you can get one. Uh, the uh, email is what? Uh, Masharaya Sha'ala. Um, info at Masharaya Sha'ala.com. Correct? That's the, that's the, okay. That's the uh, email address. Okay, Khan? So we're going to have uh, Ephraim, he's going to explain it more from the marketing department. Go ahead, Ephraim. Hey, shalom, shalom, and shalom. Hello. <laughs> Apparently, I hide good enough because he still called me up here. Um, I am a part of the marketing department, right? So, uh, you know, hopefully uh, anybody that needs to reach out to me, you know where to find me. Uh, if you don't, you're not looking good enough. Um, he's part of your house camp. Tell them what camp you're from. Well, they know what camp I'm from. They saw me standing up. So I'm a part of your house camp, right? We're, you know, we're in Raleigh. Um, I don't really have much to say 
Uh, I, I'm the law to department. Got a good too. <laughs> Out of control. So I'm happy to be here, right? You know, again, like last year, you know, a lot of love in here. You know, um, like Big Judah said, soak it up, right? Because these are the these are the days that we need the most, right? You know, as a family. Um, I've been trying to get in contact or have them contact me, everyone, at least one brother from each camp, um, you know, to work with me if you need any marketing stuff, you know, uh, banners, I mean, you name it, logos, whatever you need. Also, since last year, we've been trying to launch the product page, right? So we had a, a couple of takers, but, you know, it's been a lot of talk, but no follow through. So, you know, I'm hoping that you know, brothers will, will, will send me their products so we can put it up on the Mashara Yasharala page. You know, some, uh, hello? Go ahead, Give me a, a stiff, uh, busted mic. So, like I was saying before, so rudely interrupted. Um, you know, if anybody has any products they want to get on the page, let me know uh, and we'll get it, you know, top notch. Um, you know, hopefully we can push out the Masharai Yasharala page as a one-stop shop, you know, shopping. I mean, whatever you, you, you need, you know, fragrances, I mean, you know, body butters, all that good stuff. We're going to have it all on the Masharai Yasharala page. So uh, hit me up and uh, call me Yasharala. All right. And then... Uh yeah. I'm just trying to find where I can get a plate of this food right here. Because y'all got the good stuff. No problem. <laughs> All right, we talked about, the brother came up and talked about the herbal department. Tyler Doc talked about the health department. Uh, we want uh, Shara, Dr. Shara. <laughs> where, where, where's Shara at? She's sitting right there. Come on up, Shara. Oh, there she goes. She was hiding. Tell them about you a little bit, Sarah. No, I don't want to. <laughs> she did the midwife class today, right? She did a good job, Gun. Huh? All right. All right. Go ahead, Sarah. All right. Shalom. My name is Sharama. I am a doctor. Uh, I taught the woman's class today. Uh, that's my brother. Um, oh, yum, yum. I've been in the truth since I was 20. I'm in, what? Uh, since 89, right? She came in 89? Yeah, 89. 89. 35 years. I went into medicine to help my people. Trust me, I didn't go in for the money because I got the student loans that's more than I have. Um, so... I gave out my information. If you have questions, you can email me. I told them which emails to use. That's the one that I answer quicker because I know it's my people um, contacting me. It is HebrewsLiving at gmail.com. HebrewsLiving at gmail.com. You email me, you will get a response from me. I also gave some people my number. They have my number. It's best that you text me. I work at night, so I'm always up. During the day, I'm sleeping. Um, but email me, and you'll, you'll find me. Right? I also dibble and dabble a little bit in the herbs, so I tend to... Uh, tell my patients to use more herbal things than medicine. Some of them want the medicine, so I have to give it, but I prefer the herbal stuff. I grew up on those things, so that's what I prefer to do. And they know I so hate to talk about myself, and they call me up all the time to do this. This is why I hide <laughs> the water family. Okay. Shalom, shalom, shalom. After 35 years, why are you hiding? Yeah. Yeah. This is all like Jonah hiding from the moose yeah. in the middle of the sea. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Remember today, we, um, she used the term, she was the one that teach the woman class. But it was not a woman class, it was a midwife class. Because me and Ben was there. Don't go anywhere, Shara. And um, at the end of the class, she advertised a sponsorship page that she do. But it was only for the class. In terms of, you all get gifts, right? Can? You all get gifts. Because we was there taking notes and everything, Ben, then we heard that the gifts was for the sisters only. Right? After 35 years, this is what we put up with. So I want her to advertise the sponsor um, website that she has now for the world to hear it and for everybody that was not in this class to hear it. Say so here, madam. Um, so I'm doing a fundraiser with uh, Double Good. Um, the event code is QQK Q P something. Um, <laughs> email or text, sir, please. Yeah. Well, it ends September 2nd. It ends September 2nd. I will. <laughs> Try, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll bring All it right, up. Alright, send it to us. We'll put it on the Mashra Yashala Facebook page. Okay, thank you. Alright. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... I don't know what Um, is it Sister Mayan there, here? Mayan? She stepped out. Give it, yeah. Okay. All right, the sister took a picture of the page. It's double good, and the event code is QQKGQP. So you go to double good, and it's on the dashboard. I'm raising money so that I can continue, continue to give information in the community because I am trying very hard by the end of this year to get out of the hospital and talk to my people in the community. By the time they get to the hospital, it is too late. Con, con. So, that's, that's uh, Shara, who taught the midwife class. Give a round of applause. But as you can see how important the herbal department is. So we got your herbologist, our herbologist here. We need you to be part of that department because we need it, right? Right? I work in a hospital too, and as soon as they come in there, they got kidney failure. Kidneys are gone. I say, hi. I said, what happened? And they say, well, you know, that shot. <laughs> shot did it. Kidneys are gone. When they come in there, they got heart failure. Gone. Heart gone. See? They got uh, tuberculosis. They got all kinds of cancer. Gone. Stage three or stage four, cancer, gone, right? Ready to die. So, and this is some of our people. So, we need, we need, we need the dietary lure and the herb, and the herbal department, and we need to bring that forward uh, in the martial arts of Allah. Come, so that's very important. So, uh, and Mayan is not here, right? Mayan stepped out? Okay, she stepped out. So, uh, also on the tables, and when you came in, there was um, what a, scan, a scan code, right? It's the Mashallah uh, Inshallah Cash App. Okay, Khan? Mashallah Inshallah uh, Cash App. Um, the Mashallah Inshallah Cash App is hashtag M A S H R Y A H L A. Okay, M A S H. R Y A H L A. You scan the code and you can donate whatever you can. Okay? Everything goes towards, we, this is our 21st summit. So everything goes towards bringing forward the next summit. Con? And, and, and getting the food and getting the venue and everything for the next summit. Okay? And like Mathathwa brought out, your resources, your donations, all that is very important. It's, it, again, the brother can tell you, Judah's camp can tell you, it's hard uh, bringing forth a summit and getting everything and all the necessary parts of a summit together and then bring it forth. Okay, it's a lot of work. His camp can tell you now, now they're experienced. 
right? So it's a lot of work. So we need the donations and everything, okay? And nobody here, nobody's taking your money. We're not asking for money. We're not even asking for you. If, if you got a dollar or two to send, send it. But if you got $5, $10, $20, $30, $50, send it to the, to the cash app. Why do you think the Most High makes some men richer and some men poorer in the nation of Israel? You want to see what you're going to do with it. You want to see what you're going to do with it. And you sit back saying, I got all this money. I'm the Most High blessed me. No, he did. He blessed you, but he wants to see what you're going to do with it. And then if you don't do the right thing with it, what happens? It's like holes in your pocket. All your money begins to disappear. Come? Because you didn't do the right thing with it. The Most High does that purpose to see what you would do. So... Again, this is the Cash App, and you can donate. You can donate right now, okay, Con? And you can donate tomorrow. We've got the, tomorrow the barbecue. I'm going to have Judah come up and give you the address. And also, Judah, you, uh, you're going to send a brother around. If you can't Cash App, you can send around and give cash right now if you want to send a brother around with the box behind you. And if you want to give cash right now, you can do it. If you can't, then you Cash App. If you can't do it right now, take the cash app information and you do it later. That's all. Okay? You can do it whenever you are available to do it. Okay, Khan? Okay, Duwada for that. All prison, how about Shama Mashiach, how shot? And so, uh, with that, we're going to bring the sister up. She's going to sing. She's going to sing a cappella. Is, is Carly here? Right. Come on up, Carly. But before she starts, I'm going to just read this. This is uh, in the Josephus. In the Josephus, book 4, chapter 8, section 7, it says this. Let those that live as remote as the bounds of the land which the Hebrews shall possess come to that city where the temple shall be. And this three times in a year. So that law never dissipated. We're supposed to go up on the feast of uh, the Passover, feast of unleavened bread, uh, the first fruits, day of Pentecost, and the feast of Tabernacle. We'll also be going up to Jerusalem. That law never dissipated. So you say, well, I'm, uh, you know, you over righteous one. I'm keeping the law. I'm keeping the law. Well, won't you go to Jerusalem every three year, uh, every uh, every year, three times a year? And keep these commandments. So we got to stop being over righteous, also. Okay? Most I said, don't be over righteous and don't be over negative in much. Gun? All right? It says, uh, three times a year that they may give thanks to Yahweh for his former benefits and may entreat him for those uh, they shall want hereafter. And let them. By this means, maintain a friendly correspondence with one another, okay? By such meetings and feastings together, for it is good thing for those that are of the same stock, same inheritance, same nation, and under the same institution of laws, not to be unacquainted uh, with each other which acquaintance will be maintained by thus conversing together, right? Conversing together and so renewing, or conversing together and by seeing and talking with one another, con, and so renewing the memorials of this union. For if they do not thus converse together continually, they will appear like mere strangers to one another. That's in the Josephus. So the Most High commands us and demands that we come together. That's a commandment. Come together in one accord. Con. The brother read Hebrews uh, 10, 25 earlier. Forsake not the coming together in unity. Con. That's a commandment. But you say you follow commandments. Well, that's a commandment. Con. All right. So with that, we got a sister named Carly. She's from the royal family. Con. Right? Time. She's Royal from the family. Royal Family. All right? And she's going to sing something for us right now, so give her your divided attention. This is Carly, so give her a round of applause. Okay? And she's singing a cappella, 
It's our first time at a martial arts on a summit, correct? So next time, maybe we can have some music behind it or whatever next summit she come to. But this one, we're gonna, we're gonna check her out, okay? Go ahead, sis. Uh, Shalom family, it is so nice to be here with everyone. I'm super grateful. All praises on and glory to our Father. Um, my invite was courtesy of Yare, Sons of David, D.C. And I'm super happy to be here. Of course, like you said, no music this time. It was kind of unexpected. But you can always go to my YouTube page, Queen Carly, C-A-R-L-E, and find the songs you like with the music attached. But we just gonna do a little acapella. Yeah, yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Now, as we know, we are Israel. And this is a little chant that I like to sing for my people. And your part to do is just, is ra L. Okay? So when I say who he came for, y'all say is Ra L. So y'all y'all know y'all part. Okay. So who he came for is Ra L. Who was chosen is Ra L. Who get the kingdom is Ra L. Who he came for is Ra L. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you, Father, for your word. Father, for your verses. Thank you, Father, for this. So we can get up all the curses. Your love and praise endure forever and ever. Lay along by yet. Lay along by yet. Israel, we've been chosen. Let go of worldly emotion. The Father's calling his people. Pick up the line and go deeper. Is Rael who he came for? Is Rael who was chosen? Is Rael who get the kingdom? Is Rael? Let's go, let's go, let's go. All praises. And then I just wanted to do one little piece from a song I do called Forever. And it's derived from Psalm 136. So it goes, God of gods, Lord of lords, you alone, you do great wonders by your wisdom. You made the heavens, laid out the earth above the waters. You made the gray lights, the sun to rule by day, the moon and stars to rule by night. With a strong hand and outstretched arm, you divided the Red Sea into two parts. You made Israel pass through the midst of it. You overthrew Pharaoh and all his men. Oh, give thanks to the Yah of heaven, for he is good and his mercy endures forever. All praises, honor, and glory to the Father, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Shemai. All praise, all praise. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Yasharallah. Okay. Thank you. 
All right. So um, with that, we're going to uh, end the summit, of course. We're going to have the vendors. The vendors are going to have their uh, merchandise. You see the tables up. We have the food. Uh, Judah, is the food going to be ready? Yeah, this is good. Okay. They're hungry, right? So the food is in the back there. Okay, women and children are first, then the brothers. Let's do it in order. Okay, uh, we're going to end with a prayer with Kalak. Yeah. Come on, Kalak. With a prayer. So, we're going to say, I majum wa panyaha kudam. Face these. He's facing our way. So I just want to thank for everybody coming out to the summit, okay? And we're going, to, we're going to bring out the information for the next summit soon. So just be on the lookout for it. Again, it'll be on our, the business card, on our social media card. Remember that, Khan? All right. All right, Kalakra Ka. End it with a prayer to the Most High. Yaw, Ba, Shom, Yaw, Ba, Aba Yenawu, Yata Kudash, Shamka, Oyata Barak, Malak Wafka, Ratizawanka, Yahaya, Aishwaya, Bashamayam, Waba Aratiza, Wata Dun, Lachamnawa, Damyadia, Wamakawa, Lanawa, Khata Atinawa, Kashara, Anachnawa, Bawahalium, Lachawatayum, Lanawa, Waal, Dabi Yanawa, Liyadia, Nasayawan, Washamoyanawa, Mokal, Rai, Amun, Yahawa, Bashum, Yahawasha, Barak, Mokonawa, Washitanawa, the water, Amun, Barak of the Yahawa, Bahawa, the Dunanawa, the Dawara, Barak of the Yahawa, Hahawa, the Dunanawa, a war. Laraa, Baraka the Yahawa, Hahawaa, Natalanawa, Haayo, Koran, La Kora, Haim, Baraka the Yahawa, Hahawaa, Natalanawa, Poya, Agape, Yahawa, Bashum, Yahawasha, Barak Lenawa, Way Sharala, Wahabia Sapoya. Shumai, Then the brothers. Women and children first, then the brothers. <laughs>